There was a two-day capacity building workshop for journalists who are members of the House of Representatives Press Corps. The theme of the workshop is deepening legislative knowledge through critical reporting. The purpose, according to the organizers, is to brainstorm on how to enhance legislative reportage and promote issues of national development. The Speaker, Femi Bajabiamila, and the Clerk of the House of Representatives, Dr. Yahaya Danzaria, in their various capacities, delved into the importance and the role of media in nation building, while also cautioning on the need to avoid fake news and false reportage on the activities of the National Assembly. The role of the press in a democracy is multifaceted. You inform the public and you educate them about the law and government, politics and government. You record history as it happens and preserve the national memory as a guide and warning for the future. And you hold power to account, ensuring that those who are chosen to serve the public interest keep faith with the citizens who depend on them. Democracy will not long survive without a vibrant, independent, innovative, and patriotic press. The media is central, is central to the success of any democracy and indeed any, any legislature. Because the media represents the people when it provides them with information and report of activities in governance and, represent, uh, and representation, without the media there cannot be a functional democracy or political participation in any democratic society. In your press week, it is important to take time to reflect on your relationship with the National Assembly in general, the House of Representatives in particular over the years. It is true that the media was the people's obligation to report development in quality. It is also important that such reports are not born out of desperation for sensation that destroys the, <coughs> that destroys the democracy that we intend to build or protect. Coming to the house to do his duties, you cut them out. What I'm saying is that the standards should be, you should uphold the real standard. Which should mean that those, yeah, those who don't come to the house, those who don't attend plenaries, those who don't attend committees, those, they, 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 these are, those are the laggards. Then you should promote those who are working behind it, who are doing their work diligently. That's what I'm saying. So the standard should not be those who have money to throw around. I, I, I hope I'm making myself clear. Because that's not the job. The job of a lawmaker is not the one who, who should be... It's good if they have the money to give scholarships, if they have the money to take, uh, to do a, a, a couple of those things. And if they can also, by virtue of their work, take uh, projects to their consensus, there's nothing wrong with that. But what I'm saying is that Lawmakers who are doing the real work of legislation, we should promote them. This critical time where we have fake news and uh, persons parading as journalists um, all over the world, particularly, and not particular to Nigeria. So we'll continue to do our best. And that goes a long way to tell you that um, the need for training and retraining of journalists cannot be overemphasized. Um, we we'll continue to do our best together with NAS management to see that we weed out quack journalists amongst us in collaboration with the Nigeria Union of Journalists. We know we face this a lot, particularly when committees are going on, am I right? Yes. So we'll continue to do... Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.